Okay, let me jump to other example. We have five, right? Okay, there's no six, seven, nine, okay, nine. I think this is a sort of last example. So um, this example is um, something about the image processing. When you say image processing, there's a lot of things happening behind the scene, or there's a lot of people, different domain, like that. even in you know, the autonomous vehicle, you fully, not fully, it's partially rely on the vision, computer vision stuff, like machine learning, or deep learning, or you know, deep fake, uh, deep fakes, changing face, or like a beauty model of your camera, for example. This is all about the vision, image processing. But that one is a particularly uh, focusing on the sort of mapping things, yeah? So, um, let me, uh, uh, let's say, um, to think about the Photoshop, yeah? So I'm just embedding some Photoshop uh, functionality in the grasshopper environment, okay? It's nothing special. So now, here, uh, we have an image, path, and then you need to use this component. And then this component is actually visualizing this image, yeah? It's nothing special. You can actually bring image by some plane here, I guess. This is an image plane. Yeah. But, yeah, we basically import image as a mesh here. The second thing is that not only import, but also we can resize this image. So basically, I import, this is the actual size, and then I try to resize. Because the image processing, sometimes we need to resize, like a resolution. Yeah. Yeah. And then um, what I what I, what what it does is uh, I create the other custom Python. Yeah. Here, so we have a point. Let's say this point, right? Um, okay. Let me uh, actually. Okay. Okay. Here. So I'm going to create a point here on top of this blue color, and then grab it. And then select it. Oops. Yeah. And then what it does is just like a, um, you know, extract the position, which has a, uh, let's say, same color with the certain tolerance. So we have a tolerance here. So this is uh, something that you can take advantage of an image in order to mapping. Basically, we can create the data, actually. So on top of this data, uh, I mean, the data that you can download as a number or string from the local government or client or whatever, also we have uh, some image data. And then we can try to you know, uh, filter, filter the image on top of the data the, that you have. So in order to reveal something, it's all about the process and then the perspective of looking at the urban, okay? It's nothing special. I'm just giving you, give you guys tool and the thought process, yeah. And then again, we have a, we can resize here, and then the rabbit, yeah. We can just extract the white color, become the torrents. Just think about the magic. Just think about the magic selection in Photoshop. Yeah, it's not special. So uh, we have a two different image here. Ooh. Yeah. One is rabbit, the other one is elephant, and then we have the branding mode. So, I mean, as a designer, uh, or um, let's say not just computation designer, it's just like a pure architecture designer or um, the graphic designers, so the branding mode is really important. Branding mode is actually very precise, the color computation things. So there's like a dark mode and a bright mode, and then the difference mode. So, what I'm trying to say is that we have a different types of the, the image representation in the same image, uh, the same location. So sometimes we need to... Uh, it's not really better. Excuse me. Some, sometimes we need to tweak the, the extract, the maximize the information that you are looking for. As I said, uh, I mean, the data processing, um, machine learning, all about the data. It's more about like uh, looking at the data. Yeah, how we look at the data, what angle. This is more about like, uh, it's, an, it's not about technical things. It's more like a strategy. Yeah. Anyhow, so. Puta madre, le estoy cagando, huevón. 
we can actually yeah. it. If, if standard is come from the here, right? So let's say I need a mesh here, and then the other mesh is here, right? Yeah. Okay. So we can just play with the some color diff. Okay. Yeah. Maybe you can make a darken. Maybe you can change it. Maybe you can change it here. Screen mode here. Yeah. So we can extract some different pattern, right? Using this blending mode. So that's it. It's nothing special. Yeah. Just this is tool. So here we have an image, and then also we have the, the, the function to invert image. Because the, sometimes the, uh, for the image processing, we need to find some combination to maximize the difference. So uh, there's a function. It can be um, extract, let's say, like this. Um, what is this? Uh, this is just a it's tolerance. It's like a, some functions in a Photoshop things, like a tolerance. And then we have a brightness contrast. Yeah. Again, as I said, this is the more about like a how we uh, maximize and how we reveal in the image by um, applying some color standard collection things. So we have hue saturation things here. I'm gonna quickly jump, nothing special. And the other thing is that um, also, um, this is one thing I implemented. Um, where are you? Okay, come on. So you guys know the filter in Photoshop, right? Like sharpen or, or blur or image detect. This is all about the, 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 the filtering things. For those who are familiar with the machine learning, particularly the dim learning, so dim learning has like a multiple layers, the, 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 the network. The individual network extracts local features. So in this case, a, uh, you can actually customize your own the, 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 the uh, convolutional filter, like let's say in this case, three by three. So that actually this kernel is a loop through your own image to extract local feature to minimize the dimension. And then this, this local feature is basically the result. So that sometimes people machine learning or deep learning call it representation learning. So that's why people call like representation learning anyhow. So I implement this kind of uh, the filter things for the image processing as well. So we have here, um, let's say, you can actually customize your own kernel to, to, to you know, maximize or revealing some pattern things, okay? However, we have here, so we can, this is a normal view. Okay, let me, one point here. And then I'm going to turn off everything. Disable. Uh, okay. Uh, how can I turn off? Just a little over. Yeah, so we have here map. Oops. Preview. So we, we can simply change the uh, different types of a filter, like edge detection things. So again, we have a, a one image, like a, let's say one location with different representation, different color, where you can actually visualize your own sort of a data, and then you can consider this data as an image, and then you can give us some like a post pro, uh, production as an image processing to extract something. So most important thing is the strategy, how you visualize, what do you want to uh, find something, yeah? So, okay. I'm sorry. Um, are you okay? <laughs> because I'm dumped like different types of things at once. Um, 
Okay, so um, this is a sort of the other example, like how we extract some particular position with this image. Like we apply some filter, we'll override, make some difference. Or like uh, using the screen, we can maximize the color strengths and things like that. This is just an example that you can test. I'm not going to talk about deeply. Uh, this is very self-explanatory. So there's a Python file. So you guys can just see what I did, it's, which is nothing special. It's more about like uh, filtering things. And then this is the um, sort of example. So here we have image. Actually, this is not that good examples, to be honest, uh, because this is Boston area. Uh, oh, uh, I, I'm, I'm confused with the other example because I'm trying to apply the Boston and the New York City on top of it, which is actually no good practice. But what I'm saying is here, we have a different color variation, and then we can extract some particular things by um, just one simple image. So we can consider image as a data to be visualized, okay? So now, as a last example, um, again, we have this data, yeah? Uh, this is data, we can call it like a height map. So this color, uh, this, this um, individual colors represent the height. So based on this color strength, we can rebuild three-dimensional uh, top, uh, top, uh, topography, okay? So this is the input image here. Okay, this is the input image. And then the, the Python component gives us like uh, this kind of a point cloud based on the, um, the height. And then I give you some, some, we can actually make them as a the surface, just like that. Or you can a little bit, you know, uh, make them smooth, maybe too exaggerated, I guess. A little bit smoother. And then we can rebuild this kind of uh, uh, the, the land by, uh, out of uh, the height map. So just think about it. So this is uh, some, some geographic, uh, geographical like uh, land data. And then on top of it, we can visualizing some CSV or JSON data or something. And then we can also actually, you know, override, I mean, the inspect the based on the, um, the, the CSV position or JSON location to particular slopeness over or some, some you know, geographical relationship with this kind of the geometry data set. So um, what I'm trying to say is that, um, we have a image, we can take advantage of the color difference in order to extract some information. On top of that, we can also rebuild 3D, 3D geometry, um, like a, let's say the landscape in this case, out of this image. And also, um, this is the, the other implementation. Um, actually, this is the same implementation that I did. Um, we're gonna reach this um, example maybe in two days or something because two days I'm done for the Python with the, um, the grasshopper over mapping things basically. So tomorrow we are going to learn like TypeScript to visualizing something on the web environment such as this, uh, uh, like uh, let's say using the code pen here. This is all about like um, the TypeScript which is something new but don't worry about it. I'm gonna teach you guys um, with the Python syntax. So I'm, I'm gonna compare this a bit. It's pretty straightforward, it's nothing special, but you know, you, know, you are here uh, to, to learn something new, right? So anyhow, this is the basically identical um, logic, but a little bit different syntax against the Python that I did in this um, you know, the example here. So we can rebuild it. Um, um, yeah, I mean, I think I'm, I'm done today's uh, uh, workshop. So time is already up. Um, do you guys have any questions?